Next up in our study of Google Sheets is the second part of the dice ex exercise that we started yesterday. Uh, we uh, simulated a lot of dice rolls by using an online dice roller and we rolled sets of three dice and we were looking at okay how often do we get certain results how often do we get a three or a four or a five or a six and we were tracking all that <coughs> question being um, what result did we get the most were there the most um, <coughs> nines tens elevens it's probably going to be something in the middle but let's find out what we got the most of all right so you're looking at a handout right now, which actually the, the handouts will be slightly different for period one and period five. This is the period five handout. I'm just using it as an example. Uh, period one will work in a very similar way, except the some of the cell references will be a little bit different, but uh, you'll be able to make it. All right, so uh, here everything that I'm about to show is on this handout and part of what's going to be different today is we are going to make a line chart on uh, based on the results and you're going to see that in this demo you're going to see that in this movie so don't panic if you don't know what that is all right so let's go to work let's th there this file i'm going to have to make a copy i almost forgot to make a copy um, this file will be linked up for you I'm going to close my original. <laughs> this will be linked up for you on Google Classroom. Actually, at the time that I'm making this movie, it's not, but it will be. Uh, and and so here's what we've got. And some of these numbers could change a little bit. We had some people who are not in class, and at the time I'm making this movie, I haven't gotten their results. And so there's some rows that have some zeros in there that just you know they, they like I got no rolls from certain people and that's not going to hurt the result any it'll be fine uh, if 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 I get some more results I'll, I'll, I'll update this and we'll have a slightly different than what you see here but that's okay all right so this is period five that I'm using as an example starts up here with Lily stretches down to Natalie we saw that with the M&Ms right it did the same thing so what I'm going to do here first is I want to get some totals. Uh, I want to add them up. You know, for the whole class, how many how many people even ro rolled a three? How many times did that even happen? All right. So I'm going to and I you know we got, I'm relying on the data that people gave me. I don't know if people made mistakes in their data or not, but um, so I've got uh, here from uh, cell what C6 down to C24 selected if you're in a different class with a longer list you'd have to select more cells there but i'm just going to calculate a sum i'll press enter on that and it looks like we got seven in in fifth hour we got seven uh, there are seven occurrences of somebody rolling a three now i'm just going to take that and duplicate it over boom like that all right so we begin to see our answer uh and, and this is fifth hour results and it's really close look uh, the nines in here, um, we had more nines than anything. There were 94 of them, but not by very much. There were 91 11s and 85 10s. And it certainly looks like the more common numbers are toward the middle of the range, right? Nines, tens, 11s. And when you get out to the threes and the 18s, you don't get as many. And that's not too much of a surprise. That's uh, kind of how it works. Um, all right, so real quick here, the next thing we're going to do, and this is on the handout, I want to show you this. Um, select like all of it, and I'm going to go to Format, and I'm going to go to Alternating Colors. You know, you don't have to do this, but uh, it's kind of cool, I think. I'm going to go to Alternating Colors, and then way over here on the right-hand side, it's going to be way over on the right, uh, you, you have some... Uh, some preset things that you can choose from and you can also kind of play around with custom styles over here like the header row and the color number one and the color number two and you can set those to be whatever you want and you know but I could just kind of kind of come along here oh I'm gonna go with like this purple theme here and I click that purple theme and it shows me once I click the purple theme the header is that dark purple and the color one is a real really light and color two is a little darker and then you see what my spreadsheet looks like it's alter that was on format and alternating colors all right so i'm going to go ahead and click done over here on the right hand side pretty happy with with what that did all right now um the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a line chart out of the results of the data okay 
Uh, now, what we what we need here is <clears throat> I need these labels right up here that start at C5 and go over to R5 where it says 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, 8s. I need those to be selected because they're going to be a part of the chart. The other thing I'm interested in is way down here, the totals. In the fifth hour sheet, it goes from what, C25 to R25. In another class with a longer list, that might be a different cell, but you just kind of work with the totals wherever they are. All right. Now, the, the trick here is those both have to be selected when I go to make this chart. Like, um, so if I select the threes, or the, I'm sorry, the, the labels up here on row five, and then I come down here and I click down here and I select, well, now these are selected, but those aren't. Oh. Well, I could, what if I do this? What if I select all of that? Well, that's not good. We don't want that. That's going to be a really, really messy chart. I don't, I don't want that. So here's the solution to our problem. What you do is you go ahead and you select 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, 8s, 9s, 10s, right over here. So I'm selecting from C5 over to R5, and then I let go of the mouse. Now I'm going to hold down the um, Control key and click on... Uh, where, where I have the total number of threes and I'm going to drag over to the total number of 18s. So I'm holding the control key down and clicking and dragging across there. And so now I have this up here selected, the, the labels up here are selected, and the totals are selected, and that's perfect. It's exactly what I want. Well, now we can finish this off, right? Uh, we're going to go insert chart. So let's see what it looks like. I'll go insert, chart, got to give it a second. And you know, Google Sheets is doing its best to come up with what it thinks I want. And this isn't terrible. It's not bad, right? It's, I mean, it's kind of okay. Uh, but it's not the kind of chart that I want today. And you may have to look back at the handout. You may have to, let's make sure we get this right. Uh, today, we are doing a line or smooth line chart. Okay. Well, let's go back over here. Where are we going to find that? Well, it's way over here on the right-hand side under the chart type. And right here, we've got a line chart, and here we've got a smooth line chart. You could pick either one of those. All right. So if I do line chart, it looks like that. Or if I choose smooth line chart, really, it looks very much the same. It just kind of smooths out the corners a little bit right um, so that, that, that kind of depends on just what you want and it might be necessary we'll take a look over here um, scroll, scroll down I've got an instruction here because sometimes this happens and sometimes it doesn't uh, down to the bottom of the panel and, and um, at the right and switch click check on switch rows and columns all right well actually and this may happen for you see how switch rows and columns is already turned on well, that's good. That's what I want. If it's not, turn it on. Switch rows and columns. Okay. And another thing you might want to check here is um, set combined ranges to vertically. And right here on the on the panel at the right, uh, if it's if it happens to be set on horizontal, set it on vertical. All right, so combine range is vertical, and you want to make sure that switch rows and columns is on. And then look, oh my goodness, um, you know, we, we kind of have it here. Now this this becomes an object. This, this chart is an object you can move around. You can float around and put it where you want. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of <coughs> customizing. Okay, um, <clears throat> We're going to, I'll go back to that panel here in a minute, but I wanted to show you, I've got instructions here on the, um, on the handout. We're, we're going to customize a little bit, and uh, we can play around with things like chart style and the, the axis titles and the series options and the legend options. We're not really going to mess with those today. Uh, horizontal axis, vertical axis, grid lines, all these things are settings that you can set on a chart by going over here to customize and you can look at things like this uh, chart style 
Well, that gets into things like background color. Do you want to change the background color? Well, look at that. All right, I changed the background color. Uh, border color. There. Uh, the border isn't really very thick at all, um, but it's there. So I changed the, the background color and the border color, right? Uh, and and these, these little menu settings, they just kind of twirl down and then you can twirl them back up. That's how you operate them. So uh, like chart title says, it came up and automatically put in a title here that says totals, which isn't bad, that's not terrible, but I'm gonna change that to like rolling the dice. And as soon as I hit tab or enter, um, that pops on there, right? Now I could play with things like, um, oh, the font size. Do I want that, that title to be a little bit bigger or smaller? Or, you know, I can play with that. I made it a little bit bigger. The color, do I want the, the color of that, te that text to be something different? Uh, do I want to center it? This is all under the chart and axis titles. Now you could also play here with um, horizontal axis titles and say, you know, this is results. And if you look at my chart, it says down at the bottom, results, and the vertical axis title. It says totals on there, and that's kind of what it is. I mean, it's the total number, but um, number, I'm going to say number of rolls. All right, and as soon as I hit tab or enter right there. So you see how this is shaping up? I'm making a, a line chart that is kind of starting to look, I don't know, fairly decent. All right, I'm going to close up the chart and access titles. I'll go to series. And the big thing on series here is uh, that line color. Do you want to change the line color? It's a blue line right now. I might make it yellow. And I might make it uh, thicker. Shh, boom. See, I made it thicker. Uh, it's all kind of up to you. But I do want you to get in here and customize the chart somehow. You know how we like to... Well, I like to format and customize and things like that. Ooh, down here at the very bottom, data labels. I'm going to stick data labels in there because um, this is on the, the series section. If you twirl that down and I click on data labels, look what it did. It kind of put those numbers on there kind of where they go. I kind of like that. That looks pretty cool. Um, golly, yeah. And... and um, the legend, like I said, we're not really going to mess with the legend at all. You could play around with settings for the horizontal axis, the vertical axis. You can even add some grid lines, I think, if you want to. Um, let's see. Major grid lines. They're not showing up. Um, let's see if... Yeah, there we go. I threw in some grid lines. Right, and, and they just kind of set the grid lines just kind of separate out the main. You know, I've got 25, 50, 75, 100, and then by adding those grid lines, it just threw in some like little division lines in there so you can see. I don't know, you can kind of count better. So, this is all going to be a matter of making this thing look the way that you want it to look, right? And you do it uh, like I was showing you there, you do it with that whole um, uh, customize menu. Um, which I just closed, but that's okay. Uh, I can always I can get back to it up here, I believe, and say edit chart. Yep, three little dots in the corner is always a good thing. Uh, and I was working with all the things on the customize uh, side over here. So that's going to be a matter of you making it look the way you want. So here, look, this is it. We've done it, right? We, we wrote, we didn't do a whole lot of formula writing here. We just did a sum. But we answered our question, right? We had more nines than anything in this class, but it was close. And then we created a line chart that goes along with the exercise right here. Beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. So now it's, uh, yeah, it's your turn. Ready to roll. Let's go.